upon which they develop nationalist sentiments that by their very nature, their very attachment to the corporeal reality of land are going to fail. But Jews, by contrast, do not need such attachments because they intrinsically possess eternity through their blood, das Blut, Blut and blood, blood and soil. So Jews form a blood community, der Blut Gains Mein Shaft. Nothing like a der Blut Gains Mein Shaft. That's where it's at, guys. So Jews, because of their der Blut Gains Mein Shaft, their blood community have relinquished connection to the mundane or the quotidian that only ephemerally unite the Goyim, the other nations. Because Jews, because the non-Jews lack such a blood community, Rosenzweig says that other nations probably meaning the Germans, the French, and other European nations, need the land to guarantee their own permanence. Rosenzweig says that Jews alone put our trust in the blood, the Blumengeinsmannschaft, and we part with the land. We save the precious life fluid. All right? He's, he doesn't want our precious life fluids contaminated by the non-Jews. Yeah. Well, I think I mean, well, you'll never, rarely will you see a job in just you know theory, and method, and the study of religion. I think in the past twenty years, I maybe seen three or four of those. So one always has to be trained in a tradition, and I'm not sure if Smith was trained in the tradition. I mean, his thesis was on that, or his dissertation was on the Golden Bow. Mm-hmm. Um, so Smith was a generalist at a time when religious studies is into particularists. So the question I think becomes: How can you translate? A Smithian analysis or a Smithian type analysis into the particular fields, and that's difficult. I mean, as we saw with some of the more t- of the papers here that tried to engage Smith from the level of area studies, there had to be a lot of remedial work that they had to do for us who were in that position in order to get to a small Smithian point. So I think as we move forward, how to how to how to translate Smith into area studies will not be easy. But maybe that's the point. I mean, that if, if as one of the points that came out several times in the in the in the conference was the the playful or ludic dimension of Smith. Maybe that's the method. I mean, is to show the playfulness or the ludic dimension of what we work on, or how you know, quote unquote. Are you guys ready to work on the ludic dimension or what? Nothing like the ludic dimension. That's the playful dimension. Sacred kingship in Tibet is no more special than any other type of um, power hierarchy. So I mean, maybe that's it. Is the is the, the playful dimension? Maybe that's his method. I mean, did he have a method other than, other than showing the I got a looting dimension too, bros. All right, here is uh, Franz Rosenzweig. Uh, I think he's talking with Martin Bormann. So Rosenzweig says a foreign substance is introduced into our precious bodily fluids without the knowledge.